Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and in this video we are going to create this butterfly animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. Now this is very easy to create and it's all in 3D. So before I begin if you guys are new here then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and over here we have this butterfly PNG image. So I'll put a link in the description from where I downloaded this and if you want you can download it from the website. So after that let's start by creating a new composition. Let's call this main. Width and height 19, 20 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps and duration we can go with 30 seconds or whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now we have our composition. So now let's create a new solid so we can right click new and let's create a solid and let's change its color to something like white just click on ok there you go now we are going to quickly drag our butterfly into this composition just like this we can select this press s and let's scale this down something like this so now we are going to take this butterfly and split it into three parts one will be this left wing one will be this right wing and the third one will be this center body so for that we are going to select the layer and let's select the pen tool and we are going to create some masks just make sure that your layer is selected so that it will create a mask not a shape so now let's click anywhere you want just click create a rough outline just like this now i'm going to quickly click here and you can hold down the alt key and just create a little bit of this curved line and let's quickly do the same thing on the other side as well so let's click here and now let's click here and just click and drag so that it will create this really nice arc just like this and let me just quickly hold on the alt key and make this smaller and let's close our mask something like this so now you can see we have our center body and let's select this and i'm going to press enter and let's call this body now i'm going to duplicate this so select the layer press ctrl d to duplicate it and let's call this wing one and on this layer we are going to select this and press m so that it will reveal all the mask and first i'm going to set this to none and let's disable our body because we don't need to see it and let's select the wing and over here we are going to select the endpoint any of these endpoints and i'm going to hold down the alt key so that it will start deleting these points because we don't need the points on the other side we are just going to use these points so just keep on doing it until there are only few left so after that just simply drag any of these points and just move it to the other side just make sure that none of the wing is clipped. Make sure that everything is inside this mask. There you go. Now we have our wing one and we can set this to add so that you can see we have this wing. Now so let's select the body again and press Ctrl D. And on this one, I'm going to type wing two. And let's disable this and let's select this. Press M. Make sure to enable the layer. And again we are going to set this to none and we are going to do the same thing but on the opposite wing just hold on the control key and click on these points so that it will start deleting them let's delete a couple of these like this and after that we can place these around the wing just like this again we can set this to add so now you can see we have three body parts we have two wings and one body now we are going to quickly select these layers and make them 3d just click on this icon and it will convert all these to 3d and if you are not able to see this just click over here and it will make these options appear now let's select the wing let's disable the body for now let's select the wing one and make sure to select the pan anchor tool this one and after that i'm going to move their anchor point so let's move it somewhere around here and 
let's move it on the edge just like this now let's do the same thing for this one as well so let's select this and I'm going to move this down and let's move it to the side just like this and you can align them yeah so now we have these two wings and we have set our anchor point now let, let me just quickly enable the body and we are going to parent these layers to the body just like this and if you're not able to see these parents then you can just simply right click and under the column you can enable the parent and link all right now let's add some animation to this so we are going to select the wings press r for rotation and over here we have this y rotation so we can animate this and it will look like our butterfly is like moving its wing so let's quickly animate it and i'm going to add keyframe to the y rotation of both these and in the beginning we can set this to something like negative 75 and on this one we are going to set this to something like plus positive 75 just like this and let me just quickly zoom in and let's move a couple of frames and after that let's set this to 75 and this one to negative 75 like this so that you can see we have this one complete flap and now quickly select all these keyframes you can press F9 or you can just simply right click go to keyframe assistant and from here easy is let's go to the graph editor and if your graph looks different then make sure you are in the edit speed graph not the value graph after that you can select these endpoints and tweak them so that your graph looks something like this and now if I play back here you can see that we have our butterfly and its wings are waving but you will notice one thing that it will like do a single animation but we want this to keep on happening so we can just simply add a small expression so you can hold on the alt or option key on mac and then click on this stopwatch and then it will ask you to write a expression so you can just simply write loop out and under the braces you can just simply double quote and, and write ping pong just like this now copy this press again go to the other keyframe and then press ctrl v to paste this so now if i play back here you can see we have our butterfly and its wings are waving and if you want to make them wave faster you can just simply select the end keyframes and you can just simply move them far if you want them to be slow and you can move them closer if you want these to be like really fast something like this so now let's quickly animate its position and rotation so for that we are going to add a null object so right click go to new and let's add null object and after that you can select the body and just parent it to the null object make sure your null object is 3d as well and now we can select this press r and you can just simply rotate it and just like this you can see that we have this really nice butterfly and if i play back here you can see we have this butterfly which is in 3d so you can rotate it however you want completely up to you so if you want to animate this you can just simply select the null object and let's animate its position so let's press p and add a keyframe and let's move this somewhere around here and let's go to around two seconds then just simply select this and move it to somewhere around here and now if i play back here you can see that we have this butterfly flying if you think that it's too fast you can just probably move the keyframes further apart just like this now we can do one more thing we can just select the pen tool and let's add a point over here and we can just make it a little bit of wavy so now if i play back here you can see that our butterfly is following the path and there is one more thing that you can do is if your path is different and you want your butterfly to automatically orient along the path you can just simply select the null object right click go to transform and from here you can enable the auto orientation and just select the orient along path just click on ok now you will see that your butterfly is looking at a different angle so all you have to do is just simply select the layer and let's place it so that it looks that butterfly is on the path 
just like this so now if i play back here you can see that our butterfly is not only moving it's also like rotating along the path just like this so this is how you can create these kind of animations and it's completely up to you you can add as many butterflies as you want all you have to do is just simply select the layers and let's press ctrl d to duplicate it now i'm going to move the duplicate layers above and let me just quickly change their color something like this and on this one we can select this press u and completely up to you you can move the second butterfly from wherever you want let's place it around here just like this and we can probably select this press s and let's scale this down so that it's a little bit smaller and we can offset it so now you can see we have two butterflies just like this and if you want you can change its color as well so select the layer and just search for color balance hls or you can just simply search for hls and then just simply drag it onto the layer and from here you can easily change the color so let's go with this one let's copy this and just paste it onto the next second wing as well so now you can see we have two butterflies so in the same way you can just simply keep on duplicating this and adding bunch of these butterflies into your scene so this is how you can create these kinds of animation the project file for this tutorial will be available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files plus other templates that are available exclusively on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one Thank you.